welcome to TJMF, or Two Jews Making Food. I am Rebecca. <laughs> and I am Amy. And today we're cool as a cabbage. Cool as a cabbage. Cool as I a cabbage. I am so excited about this episode. Did you like that the skateboard? I, uh, Who doesn't like a skateboard? Because I was like, how do we represent cool, cool. as a cabbage? Because we're cool because we're on skateboards. Well, the skateboard is cool. My niece Obviously. skateboards is very good. Well, and she's very cool. Yeah. So we She is take, very cool. Well, we take after her. Hi, so Rebecca. Right. Oh. That's so, not Rebecca. Her name is Jessica. <laughs> Well, it's just my mother's third choice of names. Oh my God, you're Rebecca, Rebecca. Rachel, Jessica. Hi, Jess. I messed up. That's Hello. Fine. She still she hears yeah. you. She sees you. I see. You. So cabbage, we've got cabbage my memory crazy, <laughs> crazy going yes. on over here. Yes. So, so much cabbage. So not only are we doing a stuffed cabbage, but we're doing a cabbage cocktail. If you can even imagine. Yeah, that's, that's a thing. crazy. Like, who knew so good. that Rebecca would find a cabbage cocktail when I said I'm making stuffed cabbage? She says I'm making stuffed cabbage. I said, hold on, I got you. Yeah. I got you. I got the. I, I got, got something really crazy for you today. For you. Um, so are you going to get us started with So I'm going to get started just with um, sautéing. Um, what but I want to say, oh, we've yes, done stuffed me. cabbage before. We have, This yes. is not that recipe. No, so last time we did stuffed cabbage when we were filming from your kitchen, my house. I did exactly my mom's recipe, which um, her, it's pretty similar. She doesn't use um, rice in her. She uses breadcrumbs. Oh. Um, she kind of cooks it on a bed of onions. This recipe, I, it was delicious, but I want to shake it up. She also See, uses turkey. And yeah. my, uh, Pete, my husband, doesn't like turkey, rest tur no. uh, tur ground turkey, but he likes beef. beef. So because my mom, in her stuffed cabbage, uses rice. Yeah, it's not and it's chocolate. delicious. Um, so I'm, again, using our favorite book, The 100 Most Jewish Foods, um, but it's debatable. a highly debatable, highly, list. highly debatable list. I'm actually using the recipe from this book, which I love that. I love you'll be you able to find to on our website, on, yeah. on LTV's website. Uh, our website is twojewsmakingfood.com. Our YouTube is twojewsmakingfood. Our Instagram is dot, two Jews making food, or .net. But dot .net. Well, I just don't, don't get lost. Don't get lost, don't get lost. in the internets. In the, um, so my mom was a little bit cross with me. Smith. Not really, but she kept fighting me on the why aren't you just using my recipe? I like. Was my, there I'm a like, little Jewish guilt going on? Oh, there's always Jewish guilt going on. It's like <laughs> nagging and guilt. Um, so you're spoiling. So uh, so I but I was like, listen, mom, I did that one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the one in this book. And I'm see how it goes, but I know I like having rice in it because it kind of expands and it's really yummy. Oh, it's so and one of the interesting things about uh, uh, stuffed cabbage is that although it is very traditionally Jewish, mainly, you know, sort of Ashkenazi Jewish, really, it's a very Eastern European dish in general. Yes, Slavic. So it's, many different versions. Yeah, and so and the, many of them serve it with sour cream. Yes, they might use pork instead of. Be I'm using beef today. You can use ground turkey. Um, ground but turkey but if you're not Jewish or if you're not kosher. Um, sometimes people put sour cream on it. I've never done that. I have really? to say no, because we make a delicious sauce with yeah, it. When just... I when I was in Hungary, we, they served that. Yeah, kind that's of very thing. Hungarian. Oh, yeah, like yeah. well, that's like uh, borscht. You know, borscht yeah. is like yeah, so delicious. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna get my um, get us going. Gonna get going with what goes into the meat. I gotta saute it. So I've got uh, got white uh, yellow onions, chopped carrots. And celery. I'm going to start with the yellow onions and the carrots because they take longer. Woo! Woo! And um, and then I'll throw in the and celery. The, that was like the gunshot. We're off. We're and off we're off. I'm going to lower that heat. So um, while I'm sautéing my vegetables uh, to go into the meat, Rebecca, why don't you start, I start your, the your wacky cocktail? Okay, so my wacky cocktail. So we are using legitimate... A red cabbage. Here it is. Here it is. Red cabbage. It's about so pretty, right? Isn't it so nice? The color's so beautiful. And that's part of what makes this fun. It's about 300 grams or a cup and a half of red cabbage. Oh, and uh, I should mention that I used um, essentially uh, one medium onion. These were small, so I used two small onions, uh, yellow onions, and like two carrots chopped. It actually said shredded carrots. Wow. In this recipe, and I was like, "I'm not. That sounds weird. I'm not doing that." So I chopped them, and it's what? fine. Um, that sounds weird. Yeah. Not, and that's the beauty. That's and eventually, beauty. I'm going to add one celery stock chopped, but they were small, so I did two. And again, like it's not baking. It doesn't have to be exact. So if you like, if you like things onion, you put more onions in. Okay. So I put red cabbage into Whoa. what will be four cups of boiling uh, water. Whoa. And then I have half a cup of just regular sugar. You throw that in. Boop, boop. This and is going to be a cocktail. I, I like. I'm, I know. I am rosemary. so perplexed. I, so I just took a like, little wow. twig of rosemary from my garden. It's going to be very... And you're going to put that right in there. From my garden. From my garden. And then we're going to just <laughs> zhuzh it in. And it will come up to a boil. And you're going to boil this for about a minute. And it comes out. The liquid is so pretty. The color is so, so pretty. 
Now I have to say, the, the cabbage itself, we do strain it so you don't end up um, like eating the cabbage in a drink, which would be a little weird to me. Yeah. But That's why I'm having juice. a hard time understanding this. Well, it's funny. When it's done, you kind of smell the cabbage and you think to yourself, I cannot imagine this ever tasting like something I would want to drink. But then it, it, it freezes and it, it mellows out and it makes it really lovely. That's like, um, I can't imagine like... You wish you could smell these onions. Oh my gosh, onions and carrots and celery, it's yeah. such a lovely scent. It's the Holy Trinity, isn't it? Isn't it the Holy, isn't they, don't they call that the Holy Trinity? Yes, there, there's, two, there's two versions, Can right? Can you hand me the celery, please? Doesn't one have like Thank green you, peppers in it? I don't know, but I don't like green peppers, so I wouldn't do that. It's out for Amy. <laughs> so this is, ooh, it's already working. <gasps> it is? Look, like the, it turns purple. Do you see that? You need to like get a, here, use that here. Can yeah. we see? Oh, I don't know if you could tell from the overhead. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard, but it started. I'll do it over. Oh, yeah, look at that. See, look at the contrast blue, between. Like blue, purple. That's crazy. And all it takes is just, you just let this boil. Burl. About a minute. For about enough a minute? To let, uh, about a minute. Like enough to let the uh, rosemary kind of release into the water mm. and the sugar to dissolve. Wow. Oh uh, so I'm going to add a little pinch of salt to my um, mirepoix or... My holy trinity, I think it's also called mirepoix. I just threw that out there, but my holy trinity, a little bit of pepper. A little pepper from the mill. From the mill. This is a, yeah, well. <laughs> it's going there, pepper. All I see right. it. Yep. So I'm gonna keep sauteing. You're boiling. I'm boiling, sauteing. Uh, I should also mention that, that. Uh, I did this ahead of time because we don't have time on this show to, uh, um, to prepare the cabbage, but I want to tell you how you do it. If you take a nice cabbage, you want to make sure it looks really good and it's like nice leaves. You core it, meaning you, can I get an overhead please? Um, you take a knife yep. and you cut into the core and you have to cut the core out. And if it doesn't probably come out, you, gotta kinda, you can scoop it out. So you just kind of cut into it and then pull it out, scoop out the extra bits. So you've got a bit, you know, a deep hole in the center of the cabbage. Okay, then you take a big pot and you can either um, boil water in the pot or you can um, just take like a kettle and make boiling water um, and you put the cabbage in, core up and you pour the water in, put the lid on and you let it sit, core up for about 15 minutes, flip it over and do about another 15 minutes, core down and that softens the cabbage so that it becomes malleable in order to um, roll the meat mm. into the cabbage. All right, I am going to we'll drain this. Mess as always. It's not I'm the queen hot. of making a mess. That's what you do. So you just take a nice little uh, mesh and a bowl. <gasps> oh, the color is or crazy. And you try not to splash yourself, because uh, I mean, I have to say, people use this to dye. That was so like fast. fabric, so oh, we will stain your clothes. That makes sense. Yeah. All right, boop, 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 boop. All right, that goes back over there. I love a good natural dye. Who doesn't? <laughs> I have to say, I like Easter eggs. Can you eat that cabbage later? I don't. Uh, I mean, it would be sweet. Shh. Yeah, it'd there's be sweet. sugar in it. I mean, I don't know. I'd try. I'm it. sure that there'd be a delicious way to repurpose okay. that. So this here is the the purple liquid, as you can see. Now, what you do is if you put it in a metal container. Look at that! Look isn't at so beautiful. Look at that! Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And you put it in the freezer. <laughs> oh. Once you put it in the freezer, in like a metal container, and it's uh, if you can make it so it's a little bit more shallow as opposed to like super deep, I think it makes it freeze a little bit easier. And you just keep like working a spoon through it every half hour so that it's been in there until it freezes all the way. And what you get is almost like a slushy. Is it like a granita even? Yes, exactly, exactly. Granita. My friend Christine made a pomegranate granita the other day and it was oh, delightful. So yum. Okay, so it comes out looking like this. If we can Ooh. get the overhead shot. Can you get, there you go. So you see that? It's purple. That nice, beautiful, dark color purple. Wow. So then you take that your, cool. I'm doing vanilla vodka because I know that's what Amy likes. I do. And I, but I also think you could do it with gin. I mean, gin's kind of a nice. We don't were, like gin. If you were making this in the summer, I, you know, you'd do gin. Why not? 
or vodka, because, but vodka, <laughs> that's what we're doing today. You could do regular vodka if you're not a fan of the flavored type. I just like a little bit of vanilla in mine. So then I'm sealing the spoon. Amy, sorry. Uh, I'm just like quickly going to point out that my onions um, have sweated pretty nicely. I also, they usually say like put the onions in first, but I wanted the carrots to have more time to soften. So I put the onions and the carrots in first with about three tablespoons of olive oil and then added the celery, which doesn't need as much time. So you want those onions to really sweat and get translucent. And they're, they're really at that point now. And they're going to cook more in the meat. So these are good to go. That's really hefty that I just did that. Okay. You have to be careful when you drink this, Amy. So you put this on top like that. Whoa. Okay. And you see. Did you just pour? Because oh, I missed it because I was yes, I put, sauteing. I put the vanilla vodka. And then I put the slush on the top of it. And then you take a lemon. You know, this one doesn't have seeds. Mm -hmm. And you pour <sighs> it over the top. And it takes a minute. What is happening? But it starts <gasps> to turn. It's changing pink. color. Can you see it? See how it's turning pink there? And it takes a second. It's not like <laughs> instant. Whoa. That's really and unbelievable. So, um, whoopsie. Um, a red cabbage what? has what's called flavin. I believe that's how you say it in it. Flavin? Flavin. It's what it's causes the, the color, the color of it. So Whoa. depending on what you add to it, so we're adding an acid, and the acid turns it more of a red-pink color. If you were to add a base, I believe it turns it more a green-yellow color. But you can see that now it's almost like a rainbow, like a rainbow drink. That is magic. amazing. Look how cool that is. It's pink on the top what? and purple on the bottom. Is it going to taste like cabbage? No, and now you're going to taste it. You're going to see. L'chaim. L'chaim. Good luck. Okay. Ooh. It's delicious, right? So good. So it's science. It's magic. It's food. It it's is cabbage. magic. It's cabbage. It is cabbage and vodka together. And it's icy. I love mm -hmm. ice. It's like a little. And look at that. The rainbow actually stays even as you drink it. You see that? It's like pink on the top. Can you guys see that? And like blue on the bottom. That's so magical. Right? How did you figure this out? Man, the internet's a wild place. It is. Mm. Sometimes dangerous. Mm-hmm. But. And gross. But. But in this case, this worth case it. It's delicious. Oh, my God. <laughs> and who would have thought, like, with red cabbage that you could come up with such a delicious drink? That's unbelievable, I got to say. Who knew? I know everyone that I've been serving it to, because I've been trying this out, everyone is like, that is not red cabbage. There's no way that there is a vegetable in there. And there is. Look at that. Look at that drink. That's so crazy. So beautiful. I love this drink. Ugh. Ooh, let's make it even prettier. It. I'm going to put some. Ooh, ooh look at you. Ooh, Come on, now stop it. Stop. You just stop that. I just took it out of there. All right. I'm putting my, uh, me, my sautéed vegetables in this bowl. Let's drink. Where I am Yeah, you are. To... I am. You're doing it. I'm doing it. You're doing it, and you're not I'm even doing it because I'm taking doing names. it all for my baby, Huey Lewis and the News. <laughs> <laughs> doing it all for my baby. Yeah. She's as funny as she can be. You are, you are too, young. too young. All right, so then I'm adding Sorry, I'm to my vegetables. Funny. Tell me, my nephew used to say that all the time. Okay. Uh, half a cup of uncooked white rice. This is basmati. Doesn't really matter. Um, Does it half go a in cup. There? Does it go in? You don't cook it at all? No, you don't cook the rice at all. It cooks in the cabbage. Now, I have to say, my mother has made this dish before with uncooked rice, and now she is phobic about making this with uncooked rice because the rice did not cook. So I am oh. so interested to find well, out. Well, it did for me. Um, <laughs> did half for a cup mom. of golden raisins. And if you watch the Ota Nigella episode, I had golden raisins in that one too. So obsessed. I guess I'm a golden raisins lover. Who knew? All right. Mom, take notes. There is yeah. there is uncooked rice in this recipe. Hello, Janet. Um, then three tablespoons of tomato paste. Where's my tablespoon at? I stole it. What? Oh, and I left it in the drink. Oh, Hold on. Let me, let me just clean. Okay. Uh, three tablespoons of tomato paste. Yeah, it's nice and dry. Thanks, girl. I'm there uh, for you. Couldn't find a, like an actual normal tablespoon. It doesn't matter. This is an actual tablespoon that you eat with. All right. It's good mm. enough. Mm. Okay. It's like guesstimate. Yeah. And then guesstimate chef. You mix this all together. So you mix your rice, 
your vegetables, your tomato paste, all together in one bowl. And then make sure I haven't forgotten anything. So far, it sounds delicious. Yeah, it's Do you all want good. me to mix while you're looking? No, it's got it. All right, so you mix this all together. Mm -hmm. Boop, boop, boop. Mm. And again, yes, uncooked rice. Un you know, I also did not rehydrate the raisins. You don't need to do that beforehand because they rehydrate when they're cooking they're inside the cabbage. Because they're soft. Okay. okay. This can go away. And that can go away. away. We can My do that away. oeuvre can go over there. Then you mix the rice mixture into a pound of ground beef. It can be a pound of ground turkey, go, ground go, chicken. Go, go. Uh, people who are not kosher and like pork can use ground right. pork. Um, Leave nothing behind, Amy. I'm doing beef today. Last time, I, when I made my mom's recipe, I did uh, ground turkey because that's what she likes. Mm. I have to either not tell my husband that it's ground turkey or uh, I just tell him, let's deal with it. It's really good. So oh, I'm just going to mix this with my hands because it's much easier to You're do it that God way. Spoons. I'm using God spoons. <laughs> God spoons are big. God um, spoons. God spoons. God spoons to you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use that now. So I mix it all up. So while I'm mixing this, I think it's probably a good time to kick it to Southern California, Let's to the Steinhouses uh, for the Yiddish lesson. Then we'll be back to show you how to stuff a cabbage. Stuff it. Take it away. Hi, Mom and Dad. Hi. Hello, Amy. Hi. Mom again. So what nice to see. So nice to see you again. <laughs> nice to see you guys. I, I you. love. I love Mom joining in for the Yiddish lesson of the day. I like to see your sweet punum. <laughs> fat punum. <Best>. Red punum. <laughs> this is where I get my self-deprecating humor from. My fat punum. <laughs> um. Uh. So hey, how's it going? Good. Oh, fine. Yeah. How are things in Los Angeles? Uh, wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, it's winter, so it's cold here. Wonderful. LA is great. Oh, it's good. Cold, I'm so cold glad. here too. Not, you know, it's fine though. Yeah. Okay. Well, it is winter. I mean, you know. LA is great. It's just one big melting pot. Mmm, <laughs> a melting mm. pot. Like melting. fondue? Yeah, <laughs> if you wish. All right, so uh, so what what is our, the the big Yiddish word of the day that you're going to teach us? The big Yiddish word is a very short word. It's called Suris, T S U R I S. Suris, 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 Suris. Mom, why that. don't you tell? What does Suris mean, Mom? Not like Suris, like George Suris. It's Suris, Suris. Yeah. So what Soros. does it mean? Yeah. Tell me what it means. You tell me what it means, Mom. It means. Um, Aggravation, bad luck, just it's not good. Troubles. Yeah, woes. I think you kind of like, like when you get yourself into like you work yourself up into like a, like agita. Is it kind of like? Yeah, yeah. It's like, like it's like no. Hey, uh, I got to pay my income no, tax. I, I was getting. Hey, I got to pay my income tax already. I'm getting so much service from it. No, so it's like a headache. No, it's not wrong. <laughs> No, it's woes, it's worries, it's troubles. All right, so not not <laughs> agita, but it's like they're gonna come and arrest me. Uh, like stress, it's, it's like stress. Yeah, it's, Being it's married, married all stress. Years. Like that. No, that's really serious. Well, how many anyway. years? How many? How many years you've been married? Too many. No, no, fifty-seven. 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 Wow. Book about service. Oh, hey, that's a, that's a, uh -huh. a lot of years. Um, hey, use so use it in a sentence. So I think you just did, but do it again. I just did. Ah, you want to use it in a sentence? I can't no. think of anything. Okay, I, I use it in a sentence. Okay, I got such service. My children are giving me so much aggravation. Yes. I got such service. I <laughs> wish it. I wish it would go away already. Yeah. That's service. Okay. Eesh. Well, Eesh. nobody wants that. Nobody no. wants service. But, but you know which child never gives you aggravation? <laughs> this girl. What? I said, which like... child never gives you aggravation? <laughs> yeah. You know. No, that's not true. I know that's not true. <laughs> so much service. All right. So much service. It's a good, another good one. Service. 
Totes. Um, and, it, and, and it's got my favorite thing, which is a wet tea, which you learn when you're learning dialects. That's when you put a little bit before it, so, before a so or it has a service. Okay. Like, otherwise it sounds like Soros, like George Soros. Soros. George Soros, I yeah, know. Soros. No, that wouldn't right. be fair. Well, I better go before I get into what Soros in the kitchen over the amount of time we have left to finish this show. Yeah. Well, <laughs> maybe. Right. Okay. So, it's good seeing you. And good to you see have you guys. Great... I miss you so much. I love you. And you have a Soros free holiday. Thank you. The holidays are long over now. <laughs> Okay. Well, like we're getting into Passover. I love soon. you. All of a well, it's always, there's, wow. always, there's always a holiday. True, true. All the service free Passover. All right. Love you very much. And I miss love you. Love you too. Love you more. Bye. 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 There's always a holiday. There's always a holiday. No matter what time of year, there is something to celebrate. This cabbage is giving me service. Oh, God. I, d I didn't bring my good knife, so I'm like literally using like a, a butter it's knife like a, to try to cut tender. up some cabbage. You could do it with that yeah. knife. I'll just tear it with my hands. All right, so while now we were... Now it's God's knives. Well, it's, these are God's knives. God's knives, God's spoons. God's spoons. <laughs> while, while we were listening to my parents... How cute is my mom? Oh, my God, your family is so I mean, they're, cool. they're both cute. I love They're both adorable. I love them. And I miss them very much. I'm well, gonna see, they're I'm joining see us them today soon. on the yes, other side. I'm gonna, of the gonna take a, I'm gonna take a visit. Um, so while we were learning the Yiddish, Yiddish. service, I get to the, um, we these. pulled the leaves off of the cabbage, and Rebecca dried them. Thank you for doing that. So you have to take the leaves off, dry them, and what I do with some of the excess cabbage is I actually cut it up usually, and then I I put some in the pan. You know, throw some in because it's delicious. It's so good. The uh, when bits. it cooks up, oh, it's uh, so good. So I'm just, because I don't have my knife, I'm tearing it. Because when you finish the, the one piece that you've been given, then to find little extra bits in the sauce yes. is like a little surprise. And I think I mentioned that I held some raisins aside because I also throw some extra golden raisins in there. So I'm going to throw those in there just so that they're ready to go when we start putting stuff in the pan. So that's just in there. And the heat's not on yet. That way, you're never without. You're never without. You always get a little goodness in every bite. I'll still use this for something. I'm just going to put it over here in the way. <laughs> oh. Okay, so now do I cut out the rib? Or does yes, the rib so you need, in? no. You, so here's, so again, we don't have good knives. Okay. But so you need to cut out the vein. So uh, if we could have the, uh, thank you very much. So can we see yours? Let's move this out of the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're such a mess. Hold on. Let me put oh, this here, I'm in, I'm in it, I'm in it. Okay, good. <laughs> we can get rid of this. Okay, how much of this am I supposed so to So you got to cut out the vein, and it's like, all, the vein is like that hard part in the middle. So cut out that vein. Oh, I did it. Okay. This cut out the vein. I don't think I did it Throw it over there. Boop. Just tell it to okay. get out. Okay. Thanks for joining us. Now, what I'm doing is I'm kind of what are you doing? folding. Um, I'm kind of covering that that part where I cut out. I'm folding over it so that it's kind of together. Now this next bit we're going to do is is reminiscent of uh, the. Uh, blintzes we did recently if you watched our blintz episode so you take some meat and you kind of like make a it like, like a, a little that's little. a bit too much like and sometimes you might have to take a little like out of my yeah you kind of place it in like a okay. like a kind of an egg shape on there towards one end then like we did with the um with the blintzes you fold one end but then you fold these bits in on the side and then you roll Sort of like a burrito. Sort of like a burrito. And then you've got this. And it goes in the pan. I'll put that in the and you put the Please. seam down. Always seam. Seam down. down in the pan. Otherwise, all your goodies will fall out. All your goodies will fall out. And you know what? You don't want your goodies to fall out. <laughs> you never want um, them to fall out. You do not. So we'll do one more to show you. We're running out of time. Um, fold over. The edge. Also, if you have really big leaves, you can cut the leaves in half. The only thing that happens there is sometimes it's hard to fold them with a smaller leaf. Um, so, so you know, you may not want to do that. So, yeah, maybe you do. Yeah. Rebecca, uh, yes, I'm here. you can keep folding. If you want. I'm going to. Um, but what I'm going to do is, so um, once you've filled your pan, but we're not going to have enough time to fully fill the pan, you fill the pan with three cups of tomato uh, juice, mm. tomato juice, not sauce, just tomato juice. Pour the whole thing in the pan. Because you need it to, to yeah. be liquidy. 
Yes. If you use tomato like, And in sauce, fact, you even small. sort of stretch the sauce by adding a little bit of water into your tomato juice receptacle. I find this very zen. Like, I find it, like, very oh, relaxing to roll these. You're doing a beautiful job. And I have to say, these are coming out really nice. Um, you, uh, I'm going to turn this off. You add a little bit of water just to kind of stretch it a little bit. I add a little bit of sugar because it's tomato juice, so it's not really sweet. It's got a little bit of sweetness, just a little bit of sugar in there. And then usually I'll fill up this pan. Then you put, you um, heat it on high until the water starts, so the um, tomatoes. tomatoes sauce, tomato juice starts to boil. Once it boils, you bring it down to uh, kind of medium low heat, low heat, put a lid on it. Put a lid on it. <laughs> so it goes medium. You and I boil. have been together for too long. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> boil, low heat, boil, oil. lid. Hour and 15 minutes, and it's done. And you should periodically pop into it, scoop some of the sauce over to kind of hydrate them. But, you know, for the bits that are on the top here, but it'll start boiling over and covering everything. And, um, just do that as it's cooking periodically. For about an hour and 15 minutes, it's going to be done. And thanks to the magic of television. Television magic. I already have one done here. Show us, Amy. Yes. Show us your magic. Uh, yes, I'll show you the magic. Oh, God, I'm show spilling everything. Goodies. It's such a mess. Oy. Um, okay. So, a voila. <gasps> oh, my God. I can't this wait is to the completed stuffed cabbage. Say yes to you. Say yes, yes to this dish. Yum. Last episode, Rebecca made challah. Challah! And challah is like so delicious to dip into. Here this, you go. Uh, oh, good. Sorry, I, I was obsessed with the rolling. I was rolling, I was in a zone. Really? So, oh, this is like we're running out of time. All right, quick scooping it up so we can taste it. Soup it up. All right, so this is, this is a stuffed cabbage. Yay! Oh my gosh, I'm excited. It's delicious. It's pretty healthy. You can do it without rice if you're on keto. Um, you can do it with a lower fat. You don't have to use beef. You it's very hot. Turkey don't and chicken, it like you said. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going right. to eat this right now, but I'm going to blow on it I'm <laughs> until it cools down. But, but it's. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. I am Rebecca. And I'm Amy. Ah. And we are two Jews making food. Join us next time Ooh, I can't for wait. more schmaltz, shtick, and stuffed cabbage. <laughs> and kibitzing. And kibitzing. <laughs> Cheers. L'chaim. L'chaim.